Oh, well, I was talking about uh, I was talking about Paul. Yes, Paul. Yeah. Where does this leave you? Are you on Def Jam now? No. <laughs> Def Jam Vendetta. <laughs> <laughs> Everything comes full circle. <laughs> mm. Now, see, hold up, but let's let's fucking fucking uh just talk some shit for a little bit here. Yo, if I ended up back on Def Jam, <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Please just let us come up to all the meetings. And nah, just, just FaceTime just sit, me just from the Just sit meeting. in the just corner. Let the phone sit there and just FaceTime me. I don't even have to be there. If I ended up back on Def Jam and the president already knows who Joe is, like all the dickhead asshole shit is like. That's why that would be funny. Because <laughs> I don't think you would end up on Def Jam with Paul there. I mean, everything, no, is, everything is universal. Oh, you saying Paul and Tommy? No. I don't think Paul was on either, bro. Yeah. Hell, why would Paul take that <laughs> headache on? Let's let's talk about that. He knows you now. Like now, he's dealt with you. He probably loves your talent, like amazing talent. But oh, does no, he wait. want to have for Joe to have access to the office oh, wait. whenever he wants? Hold up, time out. <laughs> to where, to time where out. I actually sit down and right. do my work. Right. <laughs> okay, time out. We was having two different conversations. Oh, okay. I would never sign a Def Jam as a solo artist. Okay. So that conversation Today. don't even need to be had ever. Okay. Ever ever. Ever, ever, ever again. Mm -hmm. Now, when I was talking, when I was at, I was talking about Slaughterhouse, ended up on uh, Def Jam, mm -hmm. which That's would have me well. ending up on Def Jam, which is still pretty funny because now you have to deal with Joe every day. It's your group, nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And that complex office is like right down the block, right. so Joe could just go right from complex man, every morning. What? Too much Joe down there moving through <laughs> yeah. them streets, man. I, like, listen, I laugh every morning on my way to complex because it's the same street as my Def Jam. Exactly. I laugh like life is that funny. Mm -hmm. You just never know where you would go. Like even fucking when I was spending all my time in, in Montclair State University. Like, who know? Like back then, I didn't go there. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, like well, life was well, just we funny. Didn't, we didn't think you went there. Some pop, some people probably thought I went there, nigga. No, I mean, just <laughs> knowing you, I didn't think you went to college. Y'all got a little, lot of little secret little laughs and shit. <laughs> that one. Well, because we know you're, you dropped out, Joe. That's why. Thanks, Rory. Um, <laughs> but no. All right. But I don't know if that's happening. So we don't have to talk about that. So is, how do we feel well, about the move is what, I'm, is what I mean. He can't. He can't. He can't. Why I did mean, Paul get this job? That's I mean, what I was trying to figure out. Relationships and you know how it goes. And Paul is qualified. No, no, no. Not that he's not qualified. No, he's I don't know why Paul he is overqualified. Why he yeah, wanted to do it. To, yeah. I mean, I just, he can't fuck it up because it's, he's going to a situation that he's only trying to fix at this point. So he can't, I don't think he can fail. Anything would be a, a, a plus. Rory, can you point. find all the artists on Def Jam? That's literally all exactly the what I was just about to do. On Def Jam. That's what I'm saying. So he can't. Def Jam is in a bad fucking spot. But they've been in this position before. This is maybe the fourth time they've been in this position. Third. They've been in they've this been position going to ever since Lee ever since Leor left. Yeah. No, I I don't want to get back into it, but LA had a good run with them as far as money making. I'm not saying the music that no, came he, out. Yeah. They made yeah. money. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. they 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 made some money. Definitely. It it wasn't a steady seat. It's what I'm saying. Well, they haven't it cuz then no ID was in there. Uh, Even LA was in there uh 3 years longer than <laughs> longer than the rumors suggested. It was those rumors every few years. Mm -hmm. But wait, I was going somewhere really good from this. Uh, the damn artists it. they have. You know what's concerning to me? And I just found this out. Davey's album is dropping this month. Uh, the 18th, right? The 18th, yeah. Next Friday. Yeah. Paranoia. That's got to be kind of shitty, shitty Let me for just him, say, though. I'm looking forward to it. I'm... I'm I'm definitely as, sit as a down Davies and really fan. I'm excited as well, but I think with the transition between your boss at a label is not the best time to put yeah, out an album. Yeah, that's what happened. To me. This this move that's that this position oh, that, that Davies is in yeah. is exactly where Joe Budden's career took the hard turn. Mm -hmm. If I were Davies, and Davies should not listen to me, <laughs> 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 because this is where Joe Budden's career took the hard turn, but. I would try to change that. Well, here's the thing. See now, he, this is what works in his favor, though. When I was having this argument back then, once you put an album into motion, you couldn't stop it. Right. 
you had to. It was too much. They put out the Chris Brown record. Yeah, it it was too much. So I was shitting bricks, like, watching them throw niggas off the diving board. Just like, all right, because once it's in motion, you can't stop it. But now today, you got a little more control today. Mm -hmm. And I don't think people are in 2000, what, four, three? That was... This was 2000, you, uh, 2005-ish, 2004-2005. Major labels were much more necessary to artists. There wasn't really a blueprint outside of the label at that point. Of course, there were some independent labels. I don't think he has to be as reliant on his label as you would have in 2005. So even though that transition is happening, there's a lot he can do on his own and his management team He's and doing people it. around him. He's yeah. doing it. He's doing it. So uh, it's not a total fail the way the position you were in where it was like, all right, if I, I, I need, don't, I need my label to. I to don't want. Me. <laughs> I don't want people to judge Dave East in the event that his numbers come back looking a certain way. And I, yeah, that's and, my thing. Yeah, that's my. That's, thing. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. an unfair predicament an unfair to put a brand new artist who has a lot of attention. Yeah. Like that, it's like you set him up to fail. Yeah. And on top of that, Dave did not get the attention for like just one record. He's had a very great slow build with actual projects. So it's not like he relies on the big record. That's not how he got introduced to us. So this isn't the end if there is bad sales. And I'm going to say this again. The fact that the nigga is attractive might hurt him. How so? Because... Are you comparing this to back to you in 2005? Uh, I'm comparing <laughs> it to the saying... I'm comparing it to the saying... Sometimes your record is bigger than you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see what you're saying. They loving Dave East because he's extremely attractive. That might hurt later in music. If you're just known because you're so fucking, if you just look like that, that might hurt. Yeah, but in Dave's inst- instance where he's like a rapper's rapper, like we like him. We like him. But you have, you have to think chicks wouldn't. If he didn't look great, so now he has that attention. They'll listen because he looks great. Exactly. So take the fucking attention and go work the Chris Brown record you just put out. Go do well, something. Don't just drop an album. <clears throat> well, that could have been their plan. They could. They could have been. Sitting when on I don't record. have a president, I don't. But, think you know they what's anticipated funny though? That, though? I think that honestly, I feel like he might be in somewhat of a great position because. All he has to do is make sure the content on the album is dope. Now, whether it sells or not, if it flops, he can always say, yo, we was in the transition at the time. If he does great, it's like, damn, he did that. And they was in the transition with presidents at the time when he put that album out. And he put out a dope fucking record. So I kind of feel like he's not in a bad position. I understand what you're saying. But if the if the music is dope on this album, that's all he has to do is put put out dope music. It has I heard to be dope a snippet on the album. other day on, it, on his Instagram that sounded like nothing but flames it sounded like him on a new york beat but still with that bop that the kids fuck with Mm -hmm. didn't sound like he was trying to sound like from over there somewhere Mm -hmm. it sounded like the dave east we want to hear so that was refreshing yeah to see that okay i think if he does that he'll be all right we're 10 days out so this week will be very telling as far as where we see him and what the label has set up for this okay i guess that's my question i wonder what the label expects Oh, they can't expect shit. They ain't got a fucking president. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, but yeah. that's what I was saying. If it flops, it's no, he's not going to catch much slack for it. Somebody who signed Dave East is catching some slack if he flops. But how? Well, that's, just, that's just not. That because just that's the music business. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, but that's fucked up because if that's we're, what I'm if saying, we're in the transition of a, that's a president, that, that's like, what I'm like, saying. Man, that's not our fault. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a different captain now. Like, <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Okay. I agree. That's going to be fucked up. He just got to make sure to... The album, the music is dope. I'm confident that it'll be a good project. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just not confident in depth. I wasn't really. When I heard Chris Brown, Dave East, I was like, oh, okay. When I heard it, I wasn't. Mm. Have they put a video out for it yet? No. See, I think that back to how women are attracted to him, and obviously Chris too. That's certainly a great. I, I would hope that would come out before the album, within the next few days. Because mm. that's certainly some attention. People are going to watch Dave and Chris together visually. Pause. Mm-hmm. So that would definitely spark some interest going into this rollout. But I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, I'm gonna Dave, buy it. Dave got my ten dollars. Yeah, I want him to win, man. There's a there's an M album coming at some point. What label is that coming on, out under? Shady. <laughs> he owns it. I don't think definitely. He has to Where is Shady? Where is Shady coming out under? 
Interscope, which is Universal. Everyone's at a Universal. So it don't really matter so where what? you are. <laughs> it matters to me. <laughs> you all under Universal. Uh, I have the Def Jam yeah. artist too, if you're interested. Let's hear. We just got Fuck it. Tenor. Let's hear. Uh, Two Chains, Babyface, Designer, Jeremiah, Pusha T, Vince Stables, YG, Q Tip, Lil Dirk, Janae Aiko, uh, Iggy, Earl St. Clair, who's really dope, by the way. Um, Alisa Kara, I can never pronounce her name correct. Uh, Big Sean, Elijah Blake, Jada Kiss, Justin Bieber, Logic, Tiana Taylor, uh, Jacoy, Fab, Common, uh, August, Davies, Gunplay, Jeezy, Kanye. I can Nas. see why Def Jam don't put too many albums out. It's a lot of people that don't put out consistent. I'd, I'd albums. love to take a walk through Def Jam and and see how much art is hanging I out. I didn't know all of those people. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know all of those people were there. Well, with Universal buying everything up, they kind of just play musical chairs and they just throw people to different gotcha. labels. Like Justin gotcha. Bieber was originally on Island, and then Def Jam and Island merged, so he became a Def Jam artist. It's all over the fucking place. Hey, if somebody has been to Def Jam recently, the new Def Jam, uh, I'd love to know how much art is hanging up. Honestly. That sounds a little yikes. That's, <laughs> That's a, a lot of wild. people over there. I didn't know that. That's a lot of people that are non-productive. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of people that don't put out albums that often. Yeah. But why is that though? I, I feel like it's so now. I don't have shit. room. See, and that's where Paul Paul gonna have his hands full, and that's what I'm getting at here. Paul yeah. has quite the job to do over there with a lot lesser talent when you used to working with Eminem. Mm-hmm. Paul's got to get young people in there. They have to hire people. Because Def Jam, where they've always failed as of recent, they're terrible at artist development. They don't do well like the way RCA does well with new artists. Def Jam doesn't. Def Jam does great with stars. Hmm. They know how to put out Kanye West. They know how to put out Rihanna. Could Paul hire me? <laughs> You're not young. Wait, how, all right. Wait. No, go ahead. Because I see where. Because I like. Wait, I like when I see minute, Joe's brain working through his scalp. Minute, like, wait, like, a, wait a minute. Go ahead. This is what I hear when your brain is fucking <laughs> going over here. I, every time I say something, no, I'm, go ahead. I'm hearing like snarks. No, no, no. I, because I, how come when the, I talk about being hireable, no, you it's laugh. The way, it's the way you intro yeah. yourself. I'm like I can see your phone. <laughs> Just say it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I wonder if Paul could hire me as an executive and Slaughterhouse be on Def Jam still. So he'd, ha- so he'd have you as an, a difficult artist and a di- uh, difficult executive too. You'd have an office next to him and see him every day? I think that's what Paul wants in his life? Maybe not right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely not right next to him. I think Paul loves me more more than he lets on. <laughs> Keep thinking that, bro. That makes you feel better about I don't know why y'all, y'all, it's only y'all that think everybody hate me because y'all deflect y'all feelings on other people. No. Fuck out of here. Oh, no, we just hate you. That, that's what I just said. That's what <laughs> deflect means. <laughs> but, but like um, I said, Paul, I don't, he's in a situation where they can only go up. I don't, I don't, he can't, it, he can't bring the company down any further than it is right now. It's impossible. I, it's, for, it's Yo, every time Maul says something is impossible, I think it's very possible. <laughs> no, this is impossible. Def Jam can fall no. worse. How? You know what's gonna be the greatest? Man, what do you mean how? Where can where can they go from here? Let these they numbers cannot... come back. <laughs> Whose numbers? Any of these releases <laughs> numbers? No, nah, I don't think. I don't know. I don't think it can get worse than this. It's Man. bad. At Def, it's bad right now. It's bad at Def Jam Yo. right now. We're saying the same thing. I I'm gonna take a job at Def Jam just so I can watch when Kanye West walks in to Paul's office and says I want to put an album out to see that fucking conflict hmm. cause you know Paul's personality is not as forgiving as the execs Kanye has dealt with let me tell his you entire career let me just be perfectly clear <laughs> with you uh, and this is why it's important that Paul comes from he just works with M if Steve Bartles is not in there running anything <laughs> if he's not in there Steve Bartling I'd triple dare Kanye to step to Paul like that. That's what I'm suggesting. <laughs> I'd love to be there. Let me tell you something. He's going to have a long day. <laughs> hey, that little Kansas mountaintop you in, he's going to shut all that down. Hey, shut the lights off in the mountain. <laughs> I'm just saying. We predict we predict a lot of shit on this podcast. Hey, Wait for that Paul Rosenberg know. Twitter rant. The, it's going to be the, amazing. Wait, the Paul, hey, you on to something here. The Paul Rosenberg... <laughs> Uh, Kanye beef. 
it's, Paul, ha- it's going hey, to first happen. First of all, let me just apologize to Paul. First of all, because I'm talking about Paul too much as somebody that's supposed to be signed there. But Paul, this is funny shit. I'm sorry. 